What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Tiberius, back again with another review. Today, we are going to take a look at this battle belt or war belt or range belt, whatever you want to call it, from Snake Eater Tactical. My plan originally was to do the review on this belt and then go ahead and sell it when I was done with the review to put that money towards something else to review. Uh, maybe some ammo because God knows ammo prices are just silly right now. But after using this belt for the past few months, it has really, really grown on me. And I just went ahead and sold a few of my other battle belts because I like this one so much, I'm going to keep it. It is very, very comfortable. It is very, very high quality. It has excellent retention. And uh, I'm not going to lie, it just looks good. I like the way the belt looks. Uh, they're not cheap belts, I'll tell you right up front. They are very, very high quality. You definitely get what you pay for, but they are not cheap. This is a three-part belt, which I'm going to show you here in just a second. The three-part belt's a little over $180, and that does not come with any magazine pouches. Um, if you don't want this middle layer, which is just a, um, a pad, uh, you can get it for around $135. The other thing they offer, they offer a magazine, a kit with all the magazines. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's $187 you get two rifle magazines you get four pistol magazines uh, and you get this very nice dump pouch for about hundred and eighty seven dollars so like I said it is a three-part belt system I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the inner belt right now and as I think you could probably hear, it is a Velcro system. So this is the inner belt the Velcro side would go out so you wrap it around your body feed it through the loop and down and the outside goes to the Velcro, obviously, that's what sticks to the, the other layer of the battle belt. And then on the inside of this, it's a Hypalon material, which is kind of, uh, I'm not going to say sticky, but it's, um, it's not going to move. It's a type of material that once it's on your belt and you tighten down the belt well, this is not going to go anywhere. It's really going to keep, uh, stay in place to help the rest of the belt stay in place. So there's the inner belt. The middle section is a pad. It's four millimeter closed cell foam. If you don't want to run this, you can hook the inner belt directly to the outer belt if you want to go a little more profile and if you don't want this pad. But the pad has Velcro on both sides. Obviously the inside hooks to the inner belt, the outside hooks to the outer belt, and uh, it just really makes it a lot more comfortable than a, uh, like, uh, a traditional um, belt that doesn't have any sort of padding or memory foam built into it. The outer belt here is a very, very rigid 1.75 inch belt. Uh, the finish on it is very, very high quality. All of the stitching is like quadruple stitched over itself a million times, so it's not gonna break. Obviously the inside has Velcro. Uh, to meet up with the inner belt or the pad, however you're running it. Another unique feature, let me see if I can show you this here, is the inside of the belt. I took up so much of the room on the belt, I can't even show you. On the inside of the belt, on the inside of the Velcro, has Molly compatible cutouts. So you see that little cutout right there? I'll stick my finger through. Sorry for the crappy, uh, the crappy picture there, but it's a Molly compatible cutout. So you can not only hook things to this belt Velcro, you can also use uh, Malice clips and hook things using Molly if you want to. Uh, the way it hooks onto you, this side does have a Cobra buckle. This side does have a D-ring, which I will probably never use, but it looks cool. And according to the grand thumb, that's all that matters. The pouches on here have very, very good retention. Not too, too much retention, but very, very good. The pistol mags sit very, very low. These are 15 round VP9 magazines, and uh, all the magazines fit very, very low, sit very, very low in there. It's not too low, it's not too much retention, but it is in there very, very tight. All of the running and throwing sandbags and all the nonsense that I do at the range, none of the magazines ever came out or moved or anything like that. Again, you can hook it up with uh, Molly. These are just Velcro panels on the back that you velcro to the belt and they hold very very well as far as your rifle mags as you can see it does hold AR magazines it does hold AK magazines and I also use put my cell phone in there all of the time as well um, 
I'd slip it right here in the back and it held fine with no issue. I threw a quick med kit on here because I always like to have some quick clot and some sort of tourniquet on me. Uh, multiple tourniquets usually, but something close by. So I toss that on there. And then of course my holster, if you've seen any of my videos, you know I run M2 Tactical holsters pretty much exclusively. Um, their appendix holsters are by far the most comfortable. Their outside the waistband holsters are great as well. Um, if you want to use code Tiberius, it will save you 10% off on any Kydex from M2 Tactical Solutions. So the weight of the three-part belt system is going to be around 20 ounces. That is not with any of the magazines, but with the magazine pouches. As far as colors, obviously it comes in this ATAX, ATAC, however you say it, camo. Uh, you also have black, coyote brown, multicam, and ranger green. As far as pros for these belts here, I think they are very, very high quality and very, very durable. At the same time, Snake Eater Tactical did a good job keeping them as light as possible compared to other battle belts that are similar to them. I love the retention not only of all your magazines in the pouches, I highly doubt any of the, the magazines are ever going to fall out of those pouches accidentally, but I also like, like the retention and how well the belt fits on you. All the running and carrying sandbags and exercising that I do at the range, the belt doesn't really move. It does a great job staying in place and, and the same as the pouches. Um, even the little touches, like right here, there's a belt keeper. Um, Sneaky or Tactical put that on there so the tail of the belt doesn't flop and get in your way. They have that belt keeper on there. Little things like that makes me think that the the people from Snake Eater Tactical are definitely shooters, and they really, really know what they're doing. I've never met them. I have no idea if that's true, but uh, being playing around with this, that's definitely the impression I get from them. Even the uh, dump pouch, uh, very, very high quality. Again, the Velcro, the Molly, the one and a half inch webbing sewn into it to keep some shape to it. Um, it's just a very, very well thought out system. As far as cons, I hate to say again, I really don't have any but I really don't have any. If I was gonna buy one of these, I'd get it in a different color. I'd probably do multicam or, or something like that. I'm not a huge fan of this, but it's a little expensive. Um, I think it's worth it. I think it's high quality. Um, I, that's really all I can have, but I'm pulling at straws. This is a great belt. If you're considering getting one, I definitely think you'll like it and you will be happy with it. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you think I deserve it, please hook me up with a like or a comment and or hit that subscribe button. This way you get notified when I come out with new videos. If you want to know what the videos I am working on right now are, consider liking me on Instagram or Facebook. The links to those are down in the video description as well. I will see you guys next time. Peace.